Hi guys, my name is Liam, one of the trainers here at Corner. Today I'm going to be taking you through the first of a beginner's series of boxing sessions. This session is centred around footwork and footwork only. We're going to give you the tools to move correctly as you would in boxing in forwards, backwards, and then we're going to show you some changes of direction. We're going to put that into rounds. So the first thing we're going to be doing you're teaching you how to move forward. So you're going to adopt your boxing stance. So the first thing we want to do is get your guard up. So we're going to put your hands up in the air. I just want you to relax your arms and drop your elbows into your body. So we're going to keep the hands nice and tight pretty much throughout this entire session. So we'll get you used to keeping these elbows tucked in, keeping the hands up throughout the entire thing. With your boxing stance, we're going to start with your left foot forward and your right foot at the back. This is your orthodox boxing stance. So you want to keep the knees nice and soft all the time. At no point do we fully extend the legs. So keep that little bit of a bend in the knees. Then we want to imagine if we draw a line from the front toe and it crosses vertically in between the feet, we don't want that to touch that back foot. So we've got a nice little bit of space between the feet. That means we're going to have balance throughout. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is just going to show you how to move forward and what we expect from moving forward. At no point in boxing, when you move forward, should your feet be in this position or in this position. I want to keep that space between the feet at all times so that we are set to punch and that if a punch is landed on us, we're not caught off balance. So keep the knees nice and soft. I'm just going to demonstrate to begin with I'm going to take three steps forward. I'm going to lift the front foot first, push off the ball of the back foot and keep that space between the feet. That's an exaggeration of how we're going to move. I'm going to do that again. I lift the front foot, push off the ball of the back foot, keeping that space between the feet at all times. And then one more time, lift the front foot, push off the ball of the back foot. So the space stays the same between your feet. I'm now going to do that at speed to show you how it should be done once we begin this session. So we lift the front foot, push up the ball of the back foot. Feet just leave the floor about half a centimetre. Keep the space between the feet at all times. So what we're going to be doing is moving forward and backwards during the first round. So we'll be taking five steps forward or as much as you've got room for in your training space. If you can only take three steps forward, that's fine. And then we'll be taking five steps backwards. So again, keeping the knees nice and soft. When you're moving backwards, it's in reverse. You're lifting your back foot, pushing off the ball of the front foot. Again, maintaining that space between your feet. So I'll show you that two more times. Lift the back foot, push off the ball of the front foot. Space between the feet at all times. One more time, lift the back foot, push off the ball of the front foot. And that's the way we're going to be working. At speed, it looks like this. Just as we did with the forward momentum. So it's a three minute round. We're going to be beginning with five steps forward, five steps back. We're going to rinse and repeat that as many times as we can during the first minute to get you comfortable with the movement pattern. In the second minute, we're just going to stay static on the space. We're going to raise the heart rate up and we're going to use something that's massively important, your calves in boxing. So we're going to be jogging on the spot, keeping the heels lifted for 10 seconds. 10 seconds after, we're going to sprint as fast as we can and then we're going to go back to jogging, back to sprinting for the centre minute. And then the last minute of this first three-minute round, we're going to go back to the forwards and backwards. Okay, so the round's going to begin... In 10 seconds, you're going to adopt your boxing stance. I'm going to work through it the entire time with you. Moving five steps forward and five steps back. I'll tell you when we're in that second minute where we're moving into your jog and sprint intervals. And then that third minute when we go back to the five steps forward, five steps back. So get yourselves ready. We're going to work in five seconds. Three, two, one. In your boxing stance, let's go. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and now backwards. One, two, three, four, five. Remember, lifting the front foot, pushing off the ball of the back foot to move forward. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And again, forward. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. If you start to feel more comfortable, you can make it a little bit smoother now. Two, three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You've got 15 seconds. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Keep the space between your feet. Five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, in three, two, one. Now jogging on the spot. Keeping your knees lifted and keeping your heels lifted on your toes. In five seconds, we're going to do a 10 second sprint. In three, two, one, let's go. Keeping the heels lifted as fast as you can. Fast feet. Four, three, two, one. Now back to your jog. Keeping the heels lifted on the balls of the feet. Going again in five, four, three, Two, one, go. 10 second sprint. Fast as you can. Five, go on. Four, three, two, one. And back to your jog. Keeping the heels off the floor, staying on the balls of the feet. In five seconds, we're going to do one more sprint. And then we've got one more minute. Five fold, five back. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Okay, back in your boxing stance. One more minute now. Five forward, five back. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. 45 seconds. Keep going. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You've got another 30 seconds. Keep going. Four, five. One, two, four, five. Your quad should be burning a little bit now. One, two, three, four, five. Your calves should be burning a little bit. Three, four, five. 20 seconds. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Last 10 seconds. Speed it up a little bit now. Five, four, three, two, one. Hand time, relax. Give the legs a little bit of a shake out. Let's bring the heart rate down. So big deep breaths in through your nose. Then breathe deep into your belly, out through your mouth. So this next round, we've got a little bit of an appreciation now of keeping that space between the feet at all times. Keeping the heels lifted, nice and light on the balls of the feet while you're moving. We're now going to use a change of direction as well as the movement. So we're going to be moving forwards only during this next round. And again, we're going to break the three minute round up into single minutes. For the first minute, you're going to push forward for five steps as we just did. And then we're going to spin. We're going to use what's called an outside spin. So wherever we do anything that goes to the right in terms of defense, we'll call this outside. So you're going to lift the heel on the back foot, you're going to drag your heel backwards and spin 180 degrees to change direction so we can move forward. Again, so nice soft knees. Drag the foot, lift the heel on the front foot and pivot on the ball of the front foot. Now in position to move forward again, so we go forward for five steps. Same again, we're going to go outside, which means we're taking the back foot around to the right. And again, we're going to move forward for five steps and spin. So for the first minute, we're going to be in that pattern. In the second minute, we're going to adopt our boxing stance. We're going to move forward and back on the spot. Very lightly, so a very subtle movement. Forward and back. Forward and back. So this is something we can do in boxing to get in and out of range. We're still not throwing any punches. Keep the guard nice and tight. For the second minute, we're going to be pushing in and out of range, just like this, keeping the space between the feet, keeping the heels lifted. And then for the last minute of this round, we're going to go back to five steps forward. This time we'll go inside spin, so you're going to spin to your left instead. So this round has begun. So we're going to go five steps forward. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Outside spin. And one, two, three, four, five. And spin. One, two, three, four, five, and spin. Remember, dragging that foot around to the right. 
two, three, four, five. And spin. Keep your chin tucked in as well. Make sure your chin's down. That space between your feet. Four, five, and spin. One, two, three, four, five, and spin. Elbows tucked into the body. One, two, three, four, five, and spin. You can start speeding up a little bit. Three, four, five, and spin. One, two, three, four, five, and spin. One, two, three, four, five, and spin. Keep going for another 15 seconds. Four, five, and spin. Two, three, four, five, and spin. Ten more seconds. Two, three, four, five, and spin. One, two, three, four, five, and spin. Now you're going to maintain your boxing stance. We're going to push in and out of range for a four minutes to keep the heels lifted. You're going to feel this in your calves. Make sure your elbows are tucked into the body. And we're keeping that space in between the feet all the way through for the entire minute. Chin down, elbows tucked into the body. In, out, in, out. For another 45 seconds, you'll feel this through the balls of the feet too. So we're going to condition your feet and your calves for this movement. So when we get into rounds of boxing, it can get quite intense. And you'll feel this during your first session for sure. We've got another 23 seconds on the balls of the feet, keeping the heels lifted. See if you can speed it up a little bit now. Pushing in, pushing out, keeping the chin down. Elbow tucked in, nice tight guard. 10 seconds, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, this round then, forward, five, one, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna spin to the left, so dragging the back foot around this way. Two, three, four, five. Taking the back foot inside again. Two, three, four, five. Spin. One, two, three, four, five. And spin. One, two, three, four, five. And spin. One, two, three, four, five. And spin. Dragging that back foot on the inside. Four, five. And spin. One, two, three, four, five. And spin. One, two, three, four, five. And spin. One, two, three, four, five. And spin. You've got another 20 seconds. Keep this up. Keep the elbows tucked in. And spin, one, two, three, four, five, and spin. 15 seconds, one, two, three, four, five, and spin, one, two, three, four, five. Speed it up a little bit now, one, two, three, four, five, and spin, one, two, three, four, five, and spin. Three, two, one, and time. Relax, have a breather. We're gonna move into the last round now. We're gonna combine forward, backwards, Spinning inside and outside. So we'll get used to the change of directions, the forward momentum, and then moving backwards, which is obviously more of a defensive way of moving in boxing. So for this next round, again, we're breaking it up. It's a three minute round. I'm gonna break it up into three single minutes for the first minute in your boxing stance. We're gonna take five steps forward, or again, as much space as you've got in your training area. Five forward, then we're gonna spin outside. So we're facing forward, spin back inside, and then we're gonna push back for five steps. Remember, lifting the back foot, pushing off the ball of the front foot for five. So again, at speed, it should look more like this. One, two, three, four, five. Outside, inside, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Outside, inside, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, in the second minute, we're now going to mix the two bits of footwork that we did earlier. So rather than jogging, we're going to spend 10 seconds pushing in and out of range. We're going to go into a 10 second sprint. We're going to do three of those throughout the center minute of the round. And then for the last minute of the round, we go back at speed this time, five steps forward, outside spin, inside spin, and five steps back. You've got about 20 seconds now. Make sure your heart rate's down. Shake your legs out. Get yourself ready. It's the last round of your footwork session. Heart rate should be up a little bit. It is to get you used to the base of boxing. Footwork is number one. If your feet aren't set to punch, there's no point in punching. So get yourselves ready. In five seconds, we're going to go to work. Five steps forward. Outside spin. Inside spin. Five steps back. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Right foot around. Right foot back and then five steps back for five. One, two, 
three, four, five. Spin, spin, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Spin, spin, one, two, three, four, five. Remember to keep the space between your feet. Elbow tucked in. Spin, spin, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Spin, spin, one, two, three, four, five. And again. One, two, three, four, five. Spin, spin. One, two, three, four, five. Keep going for another 20 seconds. Start speeding it up. Three, four, five. Spin, spin. One, two, three, four, five. And again, 10 seconds. Four, five. Spin, spin. One, two, three, four, five. Five seconds. Adopt your stance on the spot in and out of range. Let's go. 10 seconds. Push in, push out, push in, push out, push in, push out. Five, four, three, two, one second, second sprint. Let's go. Fast as you can. Nice, fast feet. Keep the heels lifted. Three, two, one, and back in your stance now. Pushing in out of range. Nice and fast. Five seconds, we'll go back to that sprint. Three, two, one, let's go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Last fast feet. Three, two, one. Back into your stance now. In and out of range before the final sprint. Speed up them feet now. In, out, in, out, in, out. Three, two, one. Last sprint. Let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Forward and back again. Last minute of the round. One, two, three, four, five. Outside spin, inside spin, and back. Four, five. Speed it up. Let's go. Three, four, five. Spin, spin. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Spin, spin. One, two, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Spin, spin. I'm back. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Spin. Spin, one, two, three, four, five. Another 25 seconds, speed it up. Four, five, spin, spin. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, four, five. Spin, spin, one, two, three, four, five. Last 10 seconds, let's go. Spin, spin, and back. And go again. Spin, spin, last five, four, three, two, one, and time. Relax there. Big deep breaths. That's the last round of your beginner entry level footwork session. Not a single punch was thrown, but my heart rate is high enough to warrant that I've burnt a couple hundred calories whilst learning where my feet should be. Remember, I want to keep that space between your feet at all times. You draw a line from your front toe, it crosses in between the feet without touching that back heel while we're moving. Heels are lifted, just to recap. Moving forward, lift the front foot, push up the ball of the back foot. Moving backwards, lift the back foot, push up the ball of the front foot. And again, should you do this session again, outside spin, right foot spins all the way around 180 degrees, then to change direction, and then vice versa. Inside spin, pushing off the ball of the back foot. Make sure the heel's lifted on the front foot always. That's your pivot point. Drag that foot back, and that'll allow you to change position. It's a very basic entry level beginner's boxing footwork to like to get more out of the upcoming sessions where we're going to focus on your punches. We'll finally get to start punching some defenses, combinations, and then putting all of that together. So stay tuned. Cheers, guys. Take care.